Life doesn't care about your family. Sometimes it just takes you and your loved ones and dumps them in a big old pressure cooker. So it is with the Thompson family of West Virginia. Richard stood, staring at himself in the mirror, grasping both sides of the sink. What was the last lie he had told Vanessa, his wife of 33, almost 34 years? What was the last true thing he told her? What about Elizabeth? He splashed water on his face. What had he done? He walked across the bathroom, removing his clothes. He stepped into the shower and stood under the water in disbelief. The bathroom filled with steam. He cracked open the sliding window in the shower, hoping he could feel himself breathe again. From a distance, he could hear a vehicle's tires coming up the gravel road. The engine revved as the white Suburban drove up the hill to park. Richard's heart pounded as he heard the door open. He looked out at the window, at the car, the Thompson Construction logo reflecting back at him. He saw Vanessa getting out. He stood, frozen in the shower, still trying to catch his breath as he watched his wife gather her belongings from the back seat and begin walking toward the house. Richard started to reflect on his life briefly as he tried to wash away what he had done. He thought about the porch steps his wife was currently walking up. On his porch was a swing. He and his wife had sat and watched hundreds of sunsets on that very swing together for nearly 30 years. They had made life-changing decisions, said goodbye to loved ones, watched their children play even watched their daughter drive away the day she got married, all from that swing. Memories of their lives together flooded his head. He heard his wife walk through the dining room, passing through the doorway where his children had been measured on the door jam throughout the years. Vanessa started to walk down the hallway, and he remembered his daughter's first steps and the sound of her running down the hall. Richard thought about when he had taught his youngest son, Adam, to shave. He had just finished renovating the boys' bathroom, and it was Adam's first date. He was so nervous. Vanessa had taken a picture of Richard standing with Adam when he had finished. Richard remembered telling him, You're looking sharp, son. Richard still had that picture hanging in the hall. Richard, honey, I'm home. I have to run down to take Alice this box of clothes for church. She needs them tonight and didn't tell me until a few minutes ago. Apparently, she and Greg are dealing with donations tomorrow for the kids. I'm starting the washer and have dinner in the crock pot. I'll be back in a bit. Do you need anything? Vanessa asked as she walked back and forth past the bathroom door gathering laundry and loading the washer. Richard heard everything, but couldn't get a word out to respond. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little taste. It's available now from audible.com and other places where you get your audiobooks. Thanks so much.